This is the sort of departure board rail users like to see. But when there are delays and cancellations, the daily grind can grind to a halt. We're sorry to announce that uh, 10, 12 has been cancelled due to... Compensation schemes are in place, but according to a report, only one in 10 passengers regularly use them. The reason? Because most customers don't know their rights. Did you know that you can claim back money if your train is delayed or cancelled? Uh, no. No, I've never had that. If they're going to be delayed, yeah, you should be able to claim money back. So you'll be claiming from now on? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. I had no idea, no. And I think if a lot more people knew that you could, then a lot more people would actually claim money back. Different companies offer refunds in different ways. Some train companies use a charter compensation scheme, which means if a train arrives at its destination more than an hour late, they can claim at least 20% of the ticket price while other lines operate a delay repay scheme, which entitles the ticket holder to 50% off the ticket price on 30-minute delays, or 100% compensation on delays upwards of an hour. This information is readily available online, but for many, that isn't good enough. The Office of Rail Regulation report also showed that 74% of those who were asked didn't believe that train operators were proactive enough about telling customers when they're owed compensation because of delays. Some think there should be posters put up in train stations or even information on the back of your ticket. It's just about making things easier for passengers. We think if, if the companies get on and develop um, the, basically the techniques they're already using, uh, then things will get better. This year, the Office of Rail Regulators is overseeing a new code of practice for train companies. The goal is to provide clarity on fares, restrictions and the terms and conditions of compensation. So it's hoped that passengers will get a smoother ride to the refunds they deserve in future. Joe Tidy, Sky News.